then he also got into a game in the College World Series. There's a ground ball right back past him and into center field, a base hit for Martin Schneider. Talented right-hand pitcher and pitch. Big chopper left side, Liddy picks it, whirls and throws to second, not in time. Everybody's safe, runners on first and second with nobody out for Czech Republic. One ball and two strikes. A little looping liner into center field. That's a base hit. Schneider is being waved around. Garcia decides to throw the ball to the shortstop, and Czech Republic leads one to nothing on an RBI single. Peter Czech with a two-ball count, and he hits a ground ball to second. Valio flips it to Maggi. One on to first. There's two, a double play. And the pitch. Kroos swings, and it's a high pop-up into right field. Garcia and Reginato. Garcia is calling for it, and he makes the catch to end the inning. And here's the one-two from Bokai. Curveball hit on the ground on the right side. Off the glove of the first baseman, Kroos, and into right field. Maggi is going to try for two, and he is going to make it. So Italy right away has a runner in scoring position. Pitch. A bouncing ball left side off the glove of Trevinka. It's picked up by Schneider, who throws it to first, but that's going to be an infield base hit. One and two from Bulkai to Liddy. And a drive to deep center field. Back goes Dubovi to the warning track, to the wall. Goodbye, three-run homer for Alex Liddy. And that ball was a rocket line drive. It wasn't hit all that high, and it just sort of took off and went directly over the 400 sign in deep center field. It is 3-1 to one, Italy. Double single home run. That's how the ballgame starts. In the 1984 Olympics. And he hits one in the air to center field. Dubovi is back. That ball is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs over the center field fence on back-to-back -back pitches. And Calabello makes it 4-1 to one, Italy. That's Calabello's third home run in tournament play, and he salutes his teammates. Both homered, and there's a high fly ball, and that ball's going to disappear long gone. Another home run, third one of the inning, deep into right center field. That ball was, I'm guessing, 75, 100, yeah, 75 feet over that fence. Don't forget the wind is blowing out in that direction, but that ball did not need the help of the wind. Robel Garcia with another home run, and it is 5-1. He has his sign, says yes, here it comes. He struck him out swinging fastball. I believe he's also attending college in the U.S. And he lines one into center field, a solid base hit for Martin Chervinka. And he will round first and stop there, so a two-out single. And the 1-1, one -one. Dubovi lines one to right center field, tailing away from Robel Garcia, and it drops for a hit. And Trevinka, with two outs, can easily cross all the way to third base. So a two-out rally. Here's the pitch. And he lines one right to Alex Liddy, who makes the catch and ends the inning. And he takes a walk. Or on the home run by Liddy. There goes the runner for second base, the throw, and he's safe. He got under the tag, and that was daring base running by Kutsoyanopoulos. And the next one, this ball hits sharply on the ground, up the middle, into center field, a base hit. Kutsoyanopoulos is being waved around, and he's going to score easily on an RBI single off the bat of Alessandro Valio. He does go, and the pitch is driven to deep left field. Back goes Hema. And that ball is gone again for Alex Liddy. It is 8-1. to one. Liddy with two homers and five runs batted in. And we are in the second inning. That is already the fourth home run in the game. And certainly a frustrating outing for Bokai. The payoff pitch. Curveball. That's a base hit banged in the left field between short and third. Calabella waited on it and hit a hard ground ball between Martin Schneider and Martin Trevinka. And the 1-0. There's a high drive to center field. Do will be back to the warning track, to the wall. It's gone. Another home run. This time for Giuseppe Mazzanti. 
That's his first home run of the tournament. The score now 10-1. to And Italy is just piling it on. And the pitch on the way. Squibbed off the end of the bat to the left side. Schneider charges, gets a weird hop, throws on the run, and he'll never get Garcia, who's too quick down the line. Originally signed with the Cubs organization, and he drives one high and deep to right field. you got to be kidding me. This ball is going to keep on flying all the way to Skip Hole Airport. It is 12 to 1. Three more home runs in the inning. That is some kind of hitting display. And this one is hit sharply back through the middle into center field, a base hit. And the hits just keep on coming for Team Italy. There is still only one out in the inning. Runner on first base is Reginato. There's a ground ball. That's a base hit to right field. Eighth hit of the inning for Italy. Reginato is going to go all the way to third base. They've only gotten four outs. And there's a drive to deep right center field, but it's going to stay in the park for Dubovi. Tagging from third is Reginato. He will score. It's a sacrifice fly. Not going to hold him on. The pitch. Ground ball back to Satoria. He snags it. That ball was hit sharply, and he underhands it to Krost at first. Drive in a run and gave the Czech Republic a one to nothing lead. And he's hit by the pitch. And so he is on. Well, when it rains, it pours. And the pitch outside, ball four. So a sudden bout of wildness. He hit Malik and then he walks Czech on four consecutive pitches and now. Jemek Krost will step up to the plate. And runners lead first and second. There's a ground ball to the right side. Fielded by Colabello. He goes to second. His throw is a little high. They get the out there. The relay throw from Maggi. Not in time. Peter Cech. And now he's 3-1. And, and he's issued another walk. This one to Martin Mujik. That loads the bases. Responsibility of Matteo Bocchi. And the pitch. Is lined in the left center field. That's a base hit, and it's going to plate Jakob Malik. And right behind him, Prezemek Krost, he will score. First and third. Two down. Curveball. A soft fly ball to center field, and right there is Robel Garcia. He barely had to move at all, and he makes the catch to end the inning. Bottom of the third, and this ball lined into center field. A base hit. Liddy broke his bat. And the pitch to him is drilled in the air to center field. Du will be charging in. He has to play it on a bounce, a base hit. You can see that he thought about trying to lay out for that one, but he wisely kept it in front of him. That's going to be a real show. There's a line drive caught by the pitcher. Throw to first and not in time. Played in the Indians system back in the early 2010s, and he takes another ball inside. That's ball four. The bases are loaded. And he swings and pops it up very high in the air to shallow center field. Dubovi is twisting around. The wind blows it to the warning track. Dubovi makes the catch. All of the runners tag, and they will all move up. So that's a sacrifice fly. Here's the pitch. High pop up again. This one to center field. Dubovi charging in along with Hema. And it's Hema who crosses in front to make the catch. And the 0 1. Big chopper to Alex Liddy. He picks a short hop, throws across. His throw is low and safe at first base. 3 0 the count on Martin Schneider. And that is ball four. And that has got to be, that's one of the most frustrating things that a manager has to experience sometimes. And that's ball four. With the bases loaded. And he drives one to deep left field. Back goes Kutsoyanopoulos. It is gone. A grand slam home run. The seventh home run we've seen in this ball game. And suddenly it's a 14-7 affair. 
as the Czech Republic refused to go down easily. First pitch swinging, Jakub Malik hits a grand slam home run. Keen hits for Italy as Garbella takes a breaking ball outside for ball four. Andrew Maggi having a tough at bat. He is fit in nicely in this lineup, one could say. And the pitch is drilled high in the air, deep left center field. Dubovi cutting over near the wall. He leaps and he can't make the catch. The ball bounces against the wall back towards the infield. Garbello rounding third, coming to the plate. He's going to score and Maggi into third and the throw to third goes into the Italian dugout and Maggi will score. So the score is now 16 to 7. It's a triple and an error on the shortstop. Martin Schneider as he airmailed it as Maggi was arriving at third base. And the 3-1 pitch, Valio takes ball four. It's up high. Three and one, here it comes. That's a high drive to deep left field. Let's count how many seconds this ball is going to be in the air. It's still flying, folks. It is long gone. Chris Calabello's second home run. The score is 18 to seven. That is the eighth home run we've seen in this ball game. And it was just as high as it was far. As soon as the ball hit the bat, everybody just turned and watched. And there's ball four. Easy to tip your cap. You can just say, hey, look, they hit the ball. There's a hard shot, and that's past Zima into right center field. A base hit. Garcia crossing to third base. And... Uh, Italy has scored 18 here, and they're going to score another one as there's a line drive base hit to left field. Robel Garcia scores. Moving to second base is Bo Maggi. Uh, Nico Garbella. There they go. The pitch is hit in the air at a deep left field. Going back. Hema at the wall. It is gone. Another home run. This one for Nico Garbella. A three-run shot, and Italy gets what they want. They have a 15-run lead. It is 22 to 7. The ninth home run of the game. Throw strikes after he was given a huge lead and then was relieved. And there's a four-pitch walk to Peter Zima. Three and two on Martin Chervinka. And he lines one to right field. That's a base hit. The first two will be on for Czech Republic here. They are fighting and scratching and trying to make it difficult. There's a slow ground ball towards short. The flip to second for one. The relay to first is not in time. Zima at third. Dubovi at first not being held on the pitch. A line drive right field. And Reginato goes back. He makes the catch. This is going to be plenty deep enough to get the run home. As Zima comes home to score. Sacrifice fly. Here's the 2-0. That ball drilled to center field. Back goes Garcia at the warning track. The wall, it's gone. How about a 10th home run, folks? Second one for Team Czech Republic, and they are now in double digits. It's 22 to 10. Man, if you like offense, you came to the right place today. I said that, I think I said that after about the fifth home run, and that's the 10th one. Matej Hema, a two-run shot pure sense of the word. And there's a hard hit ground ball to the shortstop. Maggi scoops it up to his left and fires to first in time. That ends the inning, but Czech Republic stay alive. And so Italy would love to score three runs here to end the game. This ball popped up to right field. Mujik coming in, makes the catch. Yuji Vavrusha, the fourth Czech pitcher on the mound, and the pitch Serve to the right side. That's going to sneak through, and that's a base hit for Liddy. He has four of them now. Here it comes. That ball lifted high and deep to right center field, and that is the third home run of the game for Chris Colabello. An opposite field shot. Mujik went back to the wall and just watched it sail over his head in between the flags into the grass terrain beyond that blue right field fence over the advertising. Chris Colabello with a three-homer day. And the pitch 
There's a high fly ball, deep left field. Hama back to the wall. He's in front of it. Now he comes back, and the ball hits the heel of his glove and comes out. Mazzanti wasn't running very hard. He's going to make it to second base. Garcia at the plate. Mazzanti on second. The pitch, ground ball towards second. Fielded by Zima. He fields and throws to first to get the hustling Garcia. And there's a line drive base hit to center field. Mazzanti will score, and that will do it. As the 15-run rule is invoked, you see a very happy Giuseppe Mazzanti.